Let us take you on a journey. Take a seat, relax, and enjoy. This is The Breakdown. How does smart tech impact our privacy? Are we thinking about our privacy? In January, Facebook's Q4 earnings for 2018 were $16.91 billion. This marks a year-over-year -year growth rate of 30.4%. Now, since 2016, Facebook's been battered and bruised in terms of its media coverage. Here's a company that's taken some pretty harsh PR hits surrounding data privacy scandals. With a quarterly earnings increase of $16.9 billion, that's a lot of money. In spite of all the bad press and in spite of all the concerns over the issues of privacy, that's a pretty good quarter. That in a nutshell shows us how we think about our data privacy. And that on the most part, we don't. So why should you care about your privacy if you have nothing to hide? Imagine you go to a big arena to go see your favorite band in concert. Imagine you go to the public washroom. Would you be excited about using the public washroom if there was no door on the stall? It's the same idea. There's something about having a shred of dignity when it comes to privacy, whether you think you have something to hide or not. Because in this state of digital ignorant bliss, we've forgotten to consider those with ill intent. There's more computing power in what we pack around in our pockets than what landed the lunar module on the moon for the first time. Imagine all the training that Neil Armstrong would have had to go through to land that module on the moon. Now we can just go out and buy a smartphone and they don't come with a, here's what you're getting. We have all these social rules around our behaviors and what we can and can't do, and yet there's really no rules about how we use these or how they use us. We as human beings are tool using creatures. Since we could take a rock and chip pieces off it and turn it into a club, our entire progress has been built around using tools. If I put a hammer in your hand, a good person could frame up what could be a beautiful home. A bad person can use that hammer to break the window, and even worse, they could potentially cave your skull in with it. We have to think about this, these tools. It's the people who are using them that make them good or bad. Just look at the Cambridge Analytica scandal in 2016. People's data was weaponized and used to target certain groups of people and probably had a material difference to the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. That's a pretty good example of how data and these tools can be used against how a democracy is supposed to work. So should you be thinking more about your privacy? Absolutely. Start revisiting some of the privacy settings that you have. If you're thinking about using a new service, think about how much information they're asking for you for the service they're giving. Your right to privacy is more serious than you might think, so it's time to take off your technological blinkers and think about it. For more information about how privacy has been replaced by convenience technology, check out our next episode.